Alright guys, in today's video, we are finally going to run the printer party on the R3000. Uh, let me move this table a little bit so I can get you a better view. Have the printer unplugged. Now, I happen to um, wiggle my panel out without having to unscrew this but it is necessary to avoid a headache. You'll want to unscrew this one and this one. You can leave the last one in uh, because you only want to move this to be able to access the panel. Now, this is in place like this. You're gonna remove this screw here. And this will simply just slide out. You'll have to move this panel a little to kind of give it some wiggle room. Okay. Um, here we have the lines. And in there is the waste pad. Um, mine is far gone and really mucky. So what you want to do is kind of pull this over here just a little probably gonna need both of my hands it's gonna be a little hard to uh, remove these things someone must have done some work on these I don't recall any of these printers having these but I'm not sure hard to grab all right and you want to little by little pull softly but calmly because it is tough and as you continue pulling it will eventually come off again you want to go slow not break anything twisting I found that does not work much, but it's worth a shot. One second, because I'm going to need both of my hands. I should be pulling them both, right? Disengage it from right here for a second. Oh, and I got ink everywhere. That is what you're not supposed to do. I'm cleaning these components. I don't want anything to be harmed. Obviously, this is the main one. Sorry, guys, I was not prepared to record this, but decided why not? And like always, hot mess expressing it. These things are not meant. I could have easily just clipped them off and called it a day. But
I'm probably going to cut that off. I'm scared to pull and yank it from... Guys, be patient. Either clip it or pull slowly. All right, I pulled these out. Now I'm going to make a bottle. There is a way where you can stick the line through those vent holes and in here. However, I'm just going to, for right now, leave it for the day because I have to continue on with my business right now for the moment and then come back to the to um, running it how it should all right so I didn't have a splitter to split the line so I clipped the smaller piece that inserts into these and I'm just gonna run two lines into the tank till I get my splitter if you have a splitter then you would attach these to one, but I don't have one and it is three o'clock in the morning. All right, so I had one tube and I cut it into two. I've inserted insert it inside. Um, you'll want to make sure that it's tug proof, you know, for when it spits out so that your lines are not spewing everywhere. I'm going to heat up the screwdriver with a lighter, poke a vent hole, and two 